Off the top at six, a new federal lawsuit has been filed against the cities of Grand Rapids and Kentwood after a man claims he was racially profiled by police officers last year. News 8's Demetrius Sanders spoke with the attorney representing the plaintiff and joins us now in studio with more. Demetrius. Well, the plaintiff in this case, Jonathan Gafford, says he was visiting Grand Rapids from Texas on a business trip when he was handcuffed, placed in the back of a police car, and had guns pointed at him. His attorney says they believe race played a large role in the incident. He's not done anything wrong. He's not done anything but uh, being uh, driving while black. According to a recent lawsuit, on May 28th of last year, Jonathan Gafford, a black man, was tailed by police after leaving Kentwood to drive to a Grand Rapids hotel. He was following the speed limit. Um, you know, he had rented a car. He was in a rental car. There was no problem with that. When Gafford arrived, he says Grand Rapids and Kentwood officers surrounded his vehicle with their guns drawn. He claims he was detained for nearly an hour after being told he matched the description of a breaking and entering suspect. You would think that they were looking for a capital murder or, you know, a mass murder, someone who's done something very... Serious. Gafford was eventually released, but his attorney says the situation should have never gotten that far. You don't have to have him handcuffed at gunpoint to get this information. That's the tragedy here. Investigation should have happened beforehand, not after the fact. He says Gafford continues to be scarred by the incident. But Mr. Gafford still today suffers from night sweats. Still today suffers from anxiety when he sees a police officer. Charges in the complaint include civil rights violations and false arrest. Kenwood police said they're unable to comment on the matter at this time, but in a statement, a Grand Rapids spokesperson wrote, the city has not been served with the lawsuit. We did access the filing through the online court filing system and are currently reviewing the legal claims. The city will be issuing a response to the complaint in accordance with the federal court rules. Max says he hopes both departments are held accountable. To see that they are called to task to not let these sorts of things happen again. Now, today I looked into other racial discrimination complaints against the two police departments. The Michigan Department of Civil Rights says they are investigating one open complaint against the Kentwood Police Department and 22 against GRPD. Brian.